the mic, you just woke up. Yeah, it, yeah, it's 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 kind of funny that way. Um, because we're, like we're changing the time that we're doing the podcast now. Yes, um, we decided to change the recording of the podcast to Tuesday at eleven a.m. and maybe a second one at one p.m. depending on my times and my workload. Yeah. Because this will be a very busy um semester for me. Yeah. So, uh, this is the As the Unsighted podcast, and we're going through a huge change. But the hosts are the same. Who are we, Mike? Mike and Sophie. Um, yeah. Yeah, firstly, we need to talk about some stuff that we have mentioned in the previous podcasts. This is, this is the As Yet recap. Not quite. What do you mean? Well, well, well there's, a lot, there's a lot of added things that... We brought up in previous podcasts that I would like to bring up. Okay, such as, such as, what is what what is in this package in this black package? Is that your glasses? Yes, it is. Sophie, can you open it up? Is it broken again? That's pathetic, Mike. Why do you use tape? Well, considering that they used tape with the glue the last time. Yes. I'm doing it a little bit step further where it actually is kind of fashionable. No, Mike, you're supposed to take the tape off. No, I'm leaving it on. Why? Because it's fashionable? Because it it doesn't distort my vision at all. Oh, so it looks... Are you saying it's supposed to look more fashionable? No. It's... It's... Sort of. Okay, so what what Mike has done is he, you know how he has a pair of ski goggles, right? That doubles as sunglasses. Well, he decided to put tape on the on the top half of the lens. Yes. Black tape. Yes. Now the re- the reason why I've done this is not only because one it did break again, and two it did break again. It did break again. Oh man. Um. And two, um, you can still wear it the, exactly the same. Uh, they're always the size, you're right. It's, yes. cheap, it's probably cheaper to actually replace these sunglasses than to actually fix them now. Yeah, but yeah. It, it's a good compromise. Yeah. A- and I do like like making things last for, uh, for more than normal. Okay. Would you like me to wear these? Yeah, sure. Wear them, please. I want to see how they look on you. Oh, they still look alright. Yeah. Yeah. Still look alright, yeah. Which was the whole point. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And and let, let's talk to each other this week. Sophie? Okay, this week I've started... Okay, it's Tuesday. I haven't really had a week. But I've done the Oceanic Leadership thingy last week. Yes. Over at um, AUT. Yes. And now I'm a navigator. Or whatever that's supposed to mean. Like one of those leaders thingy. You're a navigator? Apparently. Which is like a their word for leader. Okay. Yeah. And as for you, Mike, how was your week? No, firstly, f- firstly, let's go back to that. Yeah. What One, why you? And two... Does it involve anything? Pardon? Does being a navigator have its perks? It's a volunteering thingy, which means I get to, uh, what for what I've signed up for. I think I signed up to tutor people. And I do believe you can get paid. Okay. You can get paid. You can get paid, I believe. Okay. Good. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, 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 I'm just making sure. Yeah, well, if I don't get paid, it's still a feel good, feel good thing, you know. Yeah, I like helping people. And, and how how was the first day in a bit of class? Uh, it's quantitative methods for business. It's we have a very snarky tutor, lecturer. Yeah. Yes, um, and like we we do have somewhat daily talks, don't we? Yeah. And someone was very excited about this class. Yeah. Why is that, Toby? Because it's maths. It's basically algebra. And figuring out hidden things. Yes. Um, it's something I haven't done for ages. And it's yeah. good to get back to it, you know. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, and um, what did you say? Calculus for business. Is yeah. that not what you said? Maybe I might have said something like that. Yes. Um. Speaking of my week, it's it's been sort of weird because we haven't done a podcast in two weeks. No. Um, which has been okay. So I I have been overly, um, cl- overly obsessing about cleaning my room to a point where it's a little bit too organized. It's sterile. Yeah. Yeah. It's sterile. Yeah. yeah. That, that'll have to be the ideal word for that. <laughs> yeah. Um. As as Sophie can see that um, there there is a person within our community that has left us, left this country. I mean, yes. And I'm holding some of the stuff for her, and she did give me a whole bunch of origami figurines. Very complex origami. It's beautiful. It's amazing. You yeah. know. Um. Yeah, and sort of starting meditating, which is sort of strange, on uh, because Sophie said, didn't you tell me once that uh, you would rather sleep than meditate? Go, yeah, that's true. But um, trying to figure out the best technique for myself. Ah, oh, yes. Rather than looking and copying other people. Because it's all about trying to find what best fits you. Yes. Is that, does that make sense? Yes. So how do you meditate? Um. So far, what's... I'm just doing a simple breathing technique. Oh, yes. Um. By the way, if you, don't, if you are kind of against meditating, remember they're called mindfulness these days. They've, they've kind of rebranded themselves from being this uh, monastery, Asian, up high in the clouds, om type thing to something that's, you know, more fashionable, more white. More white. They've made themselves more white by calling themselves mindfulness. So, so I, I would like to say that it's... Um, oh, you shaved. Well, well that too, but... Um, um, yeah, yeah um, meditating with bleach... Meditating with bleach. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They've cleansed themselves, apparently. Um, no, just make it more white. Yeah, they cleanse themselves of their Asianness, yes. of their weirdness, of their hippiness. So mindfulness, it's all the rage these days. Um, which do you use an app? No. Uh, may I recommend an app? You can recommend an app. Smiling Mind. Um, this podcast is brought to you by Smiling Mind. They don't know it yet, but they will, and they'll pay us soon. <laughs> they're thinking about it they are mull- they're mulling it over they're breathing through it the white meditating about it yeah the white meditating about it <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah it's just just like that slowly just that slow part of organize, organizing so I feel yeah a little bit de-stressed about it all um, because, like, especially what, what's happened over the last two weeks, it's it's finally set in, if that makes sense. Like, everything's more... You've, you've set into a schedule now. Yes. That, that I'm able to process everything. Yes. What, get over the fact that you're now on the invalid's benefit and you really are screwed. Well, 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 yeah. well, that is that is unconfirmed at the moment. That, that, that is not... Really? You're still not on the invalid's benefit? I thought not, you were. Not yet. Not yet. But it's it's approved. Yeah, well, well I'm, I'm waiting. It's approved, but you're still waiting for the paperwork. Yes. How long? They say up to 20 working days. Four weeks, a whole bloody month. Yeah. Um, I did ask for an update, and um, they have not got back to me yet. Oh, Which is fine. man. Do you have enough money to get through? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, you've, you've, there's been a lot that's been going on. Oh, man. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, now, what, what do you think of origami in general? Because, because you are Asian. Yeah. 
Crafty and, type. Crafty type. Yeah. And you have made figures for me in the past. But they're paper craft, which is not quite figurines, but origami because you're allowed to cut and glue paper craft figures. That's a big no no with, with origami. The point of origami is that you turn a piece of paper, which could be square or A4, into a piece of art. Yes. You just fold. You're only supposed to fold. Yeah. Okay. And it's huh. also supposed to be useful mindfulness as well because. Um, a lot of origami, is, it's very precise and it's very fiddly, so it forces you to concentrate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have a preference? The, the Lotus? I'm pretty good at making the Lotus. In fact, I can make one for you now. You bought me some origami paper from Ian. Um, maybe, maybe I can talk it... Well... Like a, like a lot of Japanese art, uh, they basically focus a lot about on mindfulness and just be, being, you know, in the present. So Mike, that could be another alternative form of meditation for you. Just uh, grabbing some sort of paper. Oh my goodness, these are small. Like grabbing some paper or taking up a Japanese art, such as uh, tea making or flower arranging. No. I mean, honestly, any of those Japanese arts will actually get you, will, will probably be a less sleepy way of, um, you know, just breathing, I suppose. Gets you, takes your minds off things. No. <laughs> Well, I, I, I'm I'm sorry to say it if, if you, you know unlimited money, right? Yeah, you've got limited money. I know. Yeah, yeah, uh, unlimited money. No, you've got. I know you've got limited money. No, 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 no. I mean, like, if I had unlimited money. Oh, sorry, right? sorry. I keep on mishearing you. Uh, my ears are slightly blocked for some odd reason. Oh. Yeah. So you've. So let's just say you've got unlimited money. Yes. Yeah. I uh, I would actually do, um, bonsai. Bonsai. Mike, you can do bonsai cheaply. Cheaply. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but it's just like I, I, I would just have the little tiny tree. Yeah, Mike, I've got, I've got like money tree plants out in my home, and they, they count as bonsai because they just seem to fit. They're so small, they just seem to fit into the pot. You just need to look after it. Like, uh, hey, have you watched um, Leon the Professional? No. No. Not, not yet. No. Okay. It's an it's a French art house film, um, directed by the same guy who likes those badass women. Like you know, uh, it's do you know the film, The Fifth Element? Yes. Who's it directed by? Oh, I have no idea. Luke <laughs> something rather. Anyway, um, the fifth the guy who did the Fifth Element, he also did um Leon the Professional, uh, as well as Columbina. And, okay, he has a very long acting career. No, directing career. And he also did, uh, oh my goodness, what's that one with Scarlett Johansson in, in which she turns into a god? Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, he also did Lucy as well. Okay. I mean, honestly, he, he just did a whole long line of films featuring badass women protagonists. Yeah. Long, long, before, long, long before Wonder Woman. Now, that... Well, what I'm saying that, do you yeah. feel a little bit pro um, post badassery from watching Wonder Woman? No, no, no? still have, it. still have it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, well, back to bonsai. I guess you can just take uh, one of those clippings from the money tree and just you know, have a mini, have a mini money tree. Maybe that will help you improve your fortunes. But honestly, the bonsai can be done with basically any tree. Also, I've heard. Okay. And um, in New Zealand, we do have a bonsai website for some odd reason. Like, completely staffed by New Zealand people. Okay. Yeah, which is completely weird. <laughs> but I suppose that's like the... I suppose if you want something in English, that's a good website to go to. Um, so, from what I've heard with bonsai, all you need to do is take a cutting from any random tree and put and stick it into some soil, care for it, get the roots growing, and basically um, treat it like it's a baby. Okay. Yeah, so it can be, so it can be, you're not allowed to have animal pets here, right? Correct. You can have a bonsai. Yeah, I can have a bonsai. He can, he can have a pet bonsai. Yeah, and then you can start, I don't know, eating sushi around it, I suppose. And what else? <laughs> what other Japanese things would you like to do? Because you're a j- Japophile, aren't you? Yeah. Are we, no, are you, are you, uh, a weeb? A weeb? No, 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 those an- you know those anime fans like what do they call themselves like weebs or something rather? No, well, well, I, I, I know weeaboos. What... They call themselves weeaboos. So, are you a weeaboo or are you Jeff Jeffophile? Um, 
Well, I, I I consider myself to be an otaku without the creepiness. Okay, so you're you're a weeaboo. Yeah. Okay. So like like I don't know what my waifu is yet. I haven't decided on my waifu. By the way, um, I mean allowed to. By the way, I mean allowed to have male waifus, or am I to say I only have female waifus, and are females allowed to have waifus as well? Anyone is allowed to have a waifu. Of any gender? Yes. Or robot? Because some, I, I heard some anime characters don't really have genders. Yes. Okay, I, 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 okay, but, but yeah. it's, like, you, you can either think about it in two ways. You can think yeah. about the person that, that you find all inspiring. Yes. Or... You can find a person with similar traits to yourself. Yeah. And whoever their partner is. Is your waifu. Yeah. By the way, who's... You know Hamster Girl? Hamster Girl. Hamster. Yeah. Yeah. What's her partner? Now, now, now we're talking about Umari-chan. Umari-chan. That's like, that's like you, isn't it? As your, as your, spirit, as your spirit, so to yeah. speak. Yeah, but... Like, um, well, it's not, yeah, she doesn't, but she, she's more in love with the hamsters. You now have your waifu. Yeah. Hamsters. Hamsters. You know, yeah, that's your waifu, Mike. We just found it so quickly. It's hamsters. It's hamsters. Yay. Or lemmings. Lemmings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Without the death carnation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but mind you, I thought that was a myth myth done by Disney. You know, the fact that Lemmings are mass suicide. I'm pretty sure that was a Disney myth. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um. So so you call yourselves a weeaboo? Yeah, but but l- l- let's go on to Sophie's waifu. Yeah. I think it would have to be Detective Conan. What's a male? What's what do you call male waifu? I mean, uh, it, 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 no matter what is it, it's still a waifu. So a waifu. Okay, that, that's a funny thing though, right? I have never watched an episode of Detective Conan. I've heard about him, but I've never watched an episode. Okay. <laughs> so he can't really be my waifu, can he? Oh, well, you mean, well, you still can, but but considering that both you do look. Other than the gender, of course. Yeah. Relatively similar. What? Asian with an air stalker? That's rather generic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an Asian with a deer stalker and glasses. That's generic, Mike. Yeah, it is generic. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be racist, Mike, please. <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> now, now it, it, it's, it's sort of funny. Um, yesterday, there was the announcement about a female Doctor Who. Oh, yeah, Jodie Whittaker. Yes. By the way, sorry for the spoilers, but you should have known by now. I know. Um, I'm not going to lie. Yeah? Um, a few days before, yeah? we were talking about Doctor Who. And with who? Uh, uh, with um, a few flatmates of mine. Yeah? And Mike, I, you have a hundred flatmates. I know, I know, but one that one is a, one that likes Doctor Who. Yeah? And I pretty much caught it. Oh, cool. I'm like, I can't wait for a female doctor. And there you go. <laughs> By the way, why is there so much hate around the female doctor? Because um, if, you, if you've seen the front page of the Daily Mail, exterminator! Pretty much. Yeah, um, why? Because honestly, it's about high time, right? Surely the doctor's sick of being a man. Now, it's, it, it's a little bit conservative thinking. Yeah. And also change. Yeah. People don't like change that much. No, especially when they're sexist, I suppose. Hmm. Um, hey, I actually have a theory that they had a female Missy in order to um, get a litmus test just to see how people would react to the, a female doctor. Now, now, we're talking about the companions, aren't we? No, we're, not talk- no, we're talking about Master. The Master who became Missy. Okay. Yeah. Don't you, don't you know? Um, the master went through a gen- uh, master became uh, Missy, like a few a few series ago. I don't watch Doctor Who, okay? Please, please forgive me. Um, basically, the master went through a gender change as well. Okay. Like one two years ago, 
And I believe that was actually a litmus test to see how people would react to a female doctor. Well, it does make a lot of sense. Yeah. And from what I know, because I don't watch Doctor Who either. I used to, I, I watched the whole Daily Attendance, so I had uh, both Russell T. G- Davis as well as Stephen Moffat. Both of them are awesome, okay? At least I'm fine again amongst them. Well, well, yeah. you, you've watched more Doctor Who than I have. Yeah. Um, from what I know, they had two companions last season. Yeah, that's... One male, one female. That may have also been a litmus test. Two companions last... Mike, that was a more than a, that was more than last season ago. That was I, more than last series ago. That was like, I don't know. Three or four series ago? They I, had they had both Roy and um, Amy? Yeah. Yeah. And since they had Clara, and then they had someone called Billy. Yeah. I follow the news, so... Yeah. Oh, here you go. Here's your flower. Yay! It's crap because it's so small. I can't deal with such a small piece of paper. Now, an, an, another thing that I do want to bring up. Yes. Should we, should we continue talking about Doctor Who? Are we finished with that? Yeah, we, we're, we're finished with the Doctor Who. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe we should talk about a little bit about sexism as well. Oh, edit. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Let, let, let's start with the sexism. Yeah. I'm just. I was a little bit weirded out by the fact that people are so dead against having a female doctor. You know. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Once you get to be about, I don't know, a thousand years old, I don't think you care about gender anymore. Maybe you feel like having a change. So, uh, w- w- what do you think of subtle sexism? Still sexism. It's still sexism. Yeah, and it can be just as hurtful. It can be just as hurtful. Yeah. So, well, when you're in a conversation with someone... Yes. Do you stop them in their tracks... Straight away, yeah. like Andy Murray did, or do you put them aside and have a conversation about it, or do you just ignore it and carry on? Um, if it's to- complete to total strangers, I just uh, politely ignore it. But if it's someone I know, I'll stop them. Okay. Yeah. Well, you are a lot more confident than I am. Yeah. Hence the reason I would just put them to the side and have a conversation. Yeah. That was quite that was quite amazing what Andy Murray did. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah. Um and by all means watch the interview. It was it was great. And yeah. He just blatantly said it and it was just like, Well done. Two yeah, claps. Two claps. Thanks for standing up standing thank thanks for standing up to your fellow sports people. Yeah. Yeah. Should you I know. make a crane next? Eh? Should I make a crane next? Well, but... I'm making well, a crane. Yeah. Do do whatever makes you happy. Okay. I'm I'm practicing the art of medit of meditation through origami. I forgot how to make a crane. I used to make I used to make them all the time. So, so subtle. So what's so what sort of subtle sexism do you often see? Um, generally in conversation. Yes. Um, or, or, or as I like to call it, sexist banter. Yes. Oh, look at that shaker over there. I'm going to screw her. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, um, I, I'm not sure what conversations you've had with other females in regards to males. Oh, I don't. Yeah, but, yeah, the, the conversations I've had with um, other males, it can be pretty bad. Yeah can be very worrying yeah um considering that you know having to be there with uh, playing golf for the whole bunch of um 40 50 year old males well you are playing with sticks and balls so well that too and it's and it's surprising how r18 it gets relatively quickly. Well, Mike, you are playing with sticks and balls. Sticks and balls, It's, but... it's always been R18, even before you even spoke a word. Yeah, but, you, you know, you could say the same thing with rugby. It is talking about balls and the, and the wearing short shorts. Yes. Stubbies. But anyway, so what do they talk about? How do they how do they term women? Um, it's, it's more sexually explicit. Oh yeah. Um, 
and it and is um a because the, the the first time that I saw instance of this, I was about fourteen. Oh my god! And it, 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 and playing amateur golf against other clubs. Yeah, you, you, you kind of get that really quick, and considering that um, I was a little bit naive, but also um, very... Um, oh, I wouldn't really call it well-mannered, but it was like I, uh, I could only think pure thoughts. Aww. So, so, so kind of like you, Sophie. Really? Yeah. I was very innocent and like, I know nothing. Well, I do know a lot, but I still think, choose to think innocent thoughts. Yeah. Because honestly, I, I just don't get the why you want to hurt other people, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a- a- actually, that brings up another point. Yes. Now. How do they talk about women, anyway, before we continue? Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, but was meaning like it was very sexually explicit. Oh, yes, such as, oh, I like to screw her and screw her. Oh, she's got nice knockers. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing a PG there, version. There, there's a little bit of that. Yeah. But also, I can't wait to do the wife when I get home. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't wait to get to my mistress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, something along those lines. I mean, honestly, you have a black, you, you have a black male gold, gold mine. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, what was your point? No, just just, just talking about yeah. um, differences between um, gendered conversations. Yeah. That. Oh, yes, I saw that once. One time, actually. Um, another interesting thing was that so women tend to see. People as people, I suppose. Men as men as people. Because um, I saw one time like a magazine cover um at how men at how men's magazines would depict Hugh Jackman and how women's how women's magazine would depict him as well. So the men's magazines it was like huge, muscly, burly, uh, with wrinkles out, and the women's are like, ah, oh, yeah, just dad jumper, dad dad shirt, jeans, relax, looking kind of like a dad. Yeah. Um. Seeing as if women are attracted to dads, dadness, or or nurturing or, dadness. Yeah, the, 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 there is a term for that. What's that? Well, there is the L I F acronym. What's that? Like to man, um, either um, a female or a male. It's M and D. Like MILF and DILF. MILF. Milf. Oh, right. Okay. Because this is a... A comedy... Channel. <laughs> it's supposed to be, but we're getting on to deep philosophy, so yeah? Yeah. We're tackling heavy subjects like sexism. Yeah, and, and... And clean talking here. Yes. Yes. So I don't like to... Say the... Blasphemous word. Oh, I'll say it. Beep! And beep! Yeah. There you go. <laughs> beep! Beep 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 beep. Um, I just said it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sophie was just doing Morse code, asking for help. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Generally, f- f- from what I know, women usually like to, like, have one night just to be as sexually explicit as possible, not like a ladies' night. Yes. Um, and hen and, parties, yeah, hen parties. Uh, well, well, m- men generally say it majority of the time. Mm. Yeah, um, that was the kind of thing uh, explored in uh, the Stepford Wives. Yes. Yeah, about how women, how men tend to see women as you know, like robots and sex slaves. Which will bring up an interesting thing, though. What would happen if we have sex bots? Will men prefer to have sex with sex bots rather than women? Now, that, that is a good conversation because, yeah. uh, especially um, what's going on in Japan. Yes. 
And By the way, this is becoming a real thing. Um, sex bots are coming into the market, I think, later on this year. Yes. And pretty much Japanese men have lapped that up. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they, um, they want to actually have sex with their wives rather than, than their girlfriends. Well, they'd rather have a wife than a girlfriend. Well, well, well there, there, there seems to be a disconnect between the, the males and the females to the point where... There is a declining population. Yes, they say it's a problem. Uh, Mike, shall we wrap up? It's, I'm yeah. hungry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Sophie is the one that's hungry. Yeah. You're not hungry? Well, not at the moment, but it's you, okay. You haven't had breakfast, though. Yeah, I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, this has been the As Yet Undecided podcast. You, know, you can contact me on the Manus on every platform, even Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat doesn't really work well for me. And Sophie? Oh, I'm on at Sophie9709 on all platforms apart from Instagram and Snapchat. Instagram is still Russian Sophie. I still have not contacted her yet. Oh. Maybe I should one day. Oh, it's okay. And thanks for, thanks for listening. Yeah, look out for the Evergreen Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>